My name is Arturo Topete, and I have an addiction. Photography has always fascinated me. I'm constantly taking pictures and um, everything was going normal until one day I purchased an old camera at the thrift store. When I took it home and after I opened it, I noticed they had an old roll of film inside. After doing some research, um, I summed up the courage and I decided to process it in black and white chemistry not knowing if I was going to be able to get anything out of it because of how old it was and because it was also color film. A lot of these old rolls of film have to be processed differently because um, the normal processing times don't really apply to them anymore because there's a lot of factors that affect the processing like uh, moisture, mold and also uh, their age so I usually have to modify the processing time for old film and uh, if the company doesn't exist anymore and there's no information online about the film um, I usually figure out the processing time by trial and error processing old film is a little hard um, there's like a 50-50 percent chance of me getting something and uh, there's usually a lot of work involved from uh, starting developing the film to cleaning up my mess. It usually takes me like an hour. And uh, there are times that I get nothing whatsoever. So I've been working on this project somewhere between two to three years. And uh, one day, uh, Professor Reagan asked me if I could display them outside in the hallway. So. Uh, after a while, people started uh, liking them, and uh, I was eventually asked if I was able to display them upstairs in the President's Gallery. You never really know what to expect. Um, I've gotten a huge variety of pictures um, from like uh, people camping, picnics, family outings. Um, then I've gotten pictures from the Korean War. I've also found pictures from the, the World's Fair of 1962. Yeah, I've also gotten pictures from a funeral. People lived a lot differently back in the day as compared as now. It seems like they were more uh, family oriented. Uh, they would do road trips and just have fun. It feels weird. Um, it's a little eerie because uh, a lot of these pictures are somewhere from like 40 to 70 years old. And uh, a lot of the people in the pictures probably don't exist anymore. It's kind of like staring into a window into the past. So uh, now that we have digital cameras, um, you could easily shoot a bunch of pictures. Um, back in the day uh, with film cameras, you really had to think about what you're going to take a picture of because you only have a limited amount of exposure so you could take on a roll of film. Like uh, for example, uh, some of the film will take somewhere between 12 to 36 pictures. So uh, you don't really want to waste them all in like five minutes. So I would like to set up a website for these pictures so uh, people can view them. Um, and I thought it would also be interesting to try to find some of the relatives or some of the people in the pictures.